Good morning, um, YouTube, booktube. I should get some water. So, I thought I'd make a video. I found a box on our front porch, and I thought I'd do an unboxing. As you all know, if you watch my videos, I say good morning or good evening, uh, YouTube, booktube. I don't really know if anybody in the booktube world watches my videos. Most of my subscribers are all over the world and they don't have booktube channels or YouTube channels. And I, but I do consider myself a booktuber, but I consider my video is part of my online diary, Crooked Fingers, uh, a visual aspect of it, dimension to my, to my diary. I mean, I don't edit my videos. I don't, I do it spontaneously. I don't, I just sit down and turn the camera on. I don't have an iPhone. I use a regular camera and make films. But I thought, since I got the, this box that was on my porch, I would do an unboxing. I would show you. I know what's in it already. I got an email last night saying that UPS would deliver something that I have been wanting for a while. But first of all, I'll just talk about what day it is. It is noon. It's 12.06 here in Holland, Michigan. It is January the 20th. It's a Thursday. It is snowy and cold outside. Been writing in my diary all morning. I'm on page 68 for the year 2028. I just put, I have an empty page now because I just put in my January 2022 in the folder. As you all see, I have this folder and I put receipts and Invoices in the pockets. I ended on page 66. Well, well, if I had on 66, I shouldn't be 68. It should be 67. <laughs> unless I didn't, unless I didn't put it in there. Maybe I. Um, I think I don't. I think I have a page missing. Hold on. <laughs> Here it is. I remember I was going to put this page 67 in my diary and I was looking at these books in the living room. I got these books out this morning or this afternoon. I bought these many years ago when we were in Houston, Texas back in the 80s and I was doing my internship in the Presbyterian Church in America and I would go, the only bookstore I could find that was called St. Mary's Catholic Bookstore in downtown Houston. It used to take me almost an, an hour sometimes to get down there. But there was no, you know, it's kind of surprising, but there was no really any good Christian bookstores in Houston, Texas. And so I would get my books from, the, uh, well, even though I graduated from seminary, refer, refer, Reformed Theological Seminary in Jackson, Mississippi, which had a bookstore attached to the seminary. That's where I'd get books. And back then I didn't know about Amazon. Uh, so there wasn't really much. And so I really got into Catholic literature. I got into the, like as I mentioned, the contemplative Thomas Merton, uh, things like that. But one of the things I bought there, and they didn't have many uh, books in this Catholic bookstore. Uh, 
it was really a very difficult time. I mean, there were used bookstores there in Houston, Texas, half price records and books, but it was really a difficult. Uh, if I heard about Puritan reprint, I got it from, uh, I think, Reformation Heritage Books, or I got it from the the publisher usually uh, was Solia Gloria, but or Banner Truth. But anyway, I was looking at this this morning because I've been reading Saint, the collected works of Saint John of the Cross, and so I bought this when we were in Houston. It's called the Mystical Evolution in the Development of Vitality of the Church by Father John G. Ernesto O.P., I can't pronounce the name, but this is volume, this is volume one and volume two. So I was looking at this this morning and uh, this is, uh, this was published and I think this came out in This came out in 1949. It's an older work. This edition came out in 1978. Uh, you can find it on Amazon if you're interested. The Mystical Evolution Development of Vitality of the Church, Volumes 1 and 2. It's a very famous Catholic work. If you're into Catholic theology, into the spiritual writings, of the Catholic spiritual writers like St. John of the Cross. I, I just get it out. Uh, my edition's falling apart. <laughs> it's, it's falling apart, but I get it out. So I got I distracted. Because then I saw on the porch this box. So I thought instead of opening it, I would do an unboxing. First I got to put page 67 of 2022 in my diary. So how are you guys doing? Today is a Thursday, I'm by myself. My wife is meeting with, it's called the Ho-Ho Girls. It's retired nurses that, and they all meet together every once in a while at somebody's house or at some restaurant and they all talk about when they were nurses and what, some have all worked together for years, and so I'm by myself, writing in my diary, and I was reading St. John of the Cross this morning. I'm all, I got two pages left in the Ascent of Mount Carmel, and then I'm done with that. And then I, like I said, I got this out to look at. And then I was reading the Reform Systematic Theology, Volume 3, The Spirit and Salvation by Joel R. Beakey and Paul M. Smalley. I was reading on uh, faith, uh, well, conversion, part 3, it's on page 496, conversion part 3, the exercise and necessity of faith. And then I'm on now on page, not page, chapter 22, Justification Part 1, Biblical Teaching, which is on page 513. So, but tomorrow I'll be reading Rudolph of Saxony, The Life of Jesus Christ. So what's in the box, you might be asking. The, what am I going to unbox? So I have my knife here. As I said, I already know what's in here, but I'll show you what's in the box. So you open the box, you take out the paper, and the book is wrapped up, and then you take off the styrofoam. I've been buying a lot of books lately because once in a while I take money out of my uh, of my uh, 
money money account. It's my wife's birthday. That's why I took some money out for my wife's birthday. Take her out. I bought her something for her birthday. So then I take a little extra money to buy books. So this is the book. <laughs> it's Theorat Theoretica Practica Theology. I've been waiting for this volume. This is a projected six or seven volumes. And this is volume three. And this is a very famous theological work. I've known about it. Well, if you read the writings of Jonathan Edwards, the great American revivalist and theologian and minister, if you read his writings, he mentions Petrus Van Manstrich, translated by Todd M. Reisner, edited by Joel R. Beakey. So this is volume three. This is volume two. Well, volume three is called The Works of God and the Fall of Man. And then you have volume one, which is the Promagama, volume one, by Petrus Van, Petrus Van Manstrit, Theoretica, Practica, Theora, Theoretica, Practical Theology. And, uh, and then then volume two came out. Volume two came out. What year that one was? This came out in 2019. This is on the faith in the triune God. It's on like the spirituality and simplicity of God, like the intellect, knowledge, and wisdom of God, the love, grace, mercy, and long suffering and clemency of God. It's not like on the it's a, on the doctrine of God, his divine attributes. Uh, and then you have the most holy trinity, uh, the God the Holy Spirit. And then volume three just came out on the works of God and the f fall of man. You have uh, chapter one, the actions and decrees of God, elect, predestination, election, reprobation, the world and the work of the six days, you go into creation, the good angels, uh, man in the image of God, the evil angels, the general providence of God, man in the image of God, the covenant of nature, original sin, the violation of the covenant of nature. In Puritan theology, they call it the covenant of works, uh, the penalty and state of sin. So that's what's on. So that's what was in the box. Volume three of Petrus Van Manstrat, the Theoretica, Practical Theology, the Works of God in the Fall of Man. So now, I've got the three volumes. Well, this volume one, volume two, now volume three. I did buy from Dr. Beakey Reformation Heritage Books this book when I visited him a couple oh, last summer. The Living Art, the Art of Living to God. A study of method and piety in the Theoretica Practica Theologica of Petrus Van Manstrit. See, this is by Adrian C. Neal. It's like an introduction to this this work. If you're interested in it, so I got that. So that's what I'm going to look at this afternoon, Volume Three. You know. I've already read great parts of these already, the other two volumes. I've already read volumes one and two of the Reform Systematic Theology. This thing is over a thousand pages. Each volume is over a thousand pages. So that's what I got to read. Talk about stuff to read. 
Uh, you got all this. Read. Oh, I'll probably kill my arms if I lift it up. But all this. It's probably a couple thousand pages. So, but like I said, I'll be writing in my diary. I got books coming in the mail today. And yeah, so that's what came in the mail. <laughs> But if you're interested in Catholic theology, especially mystical or theology, check this out. It's, it's still available from Amazon. Always read St. John of the Cross. I'm almost, I think I will read The Dark Knight next uh, after this by St. John of the Cross. And I'll just keep reading. The next chapter is on the Doctrine of Justification by Faith by Dr. Beaky and Smalley. And I will be looking at this morning The Works of God and the Fall of Man by Van Maastricht and by M3. So I got things to keep me busy as I go through my days, as I go through my hours, as I go through my minutes. Yesterday I had a therapy session as I mentioned, and one of the questions he asked me, he says, you know, why do you exist? <laughs> he asked me that. And I said, well, I exist because I'm not dead. <laughs> That's why I exist. But I exist because it's God's will. And I, I live by faith. <laughs> I live faith and I believe that God has a plan for my life, even though it didn't turn out the way I thought it would be, but hey, I'm going to be 70 years old. This, I've lived 70 years. I have a wonderful wife. I have wonderful children. I have wonderful grandchildren. I have a warm house, a full belly, and I can read systematic theology. I can live a contemplative life. I can read the Bible day, morning, afternoon, in the evening I can pray and know that I can have fellowship with the living God and Jesus Christ, taste something of his divine love, the sweetness of fellowship with Jesus. I can know the glories of the cross. I can look forward to the glory of seeing Christ face to face when I die. And even though it's cold outside, I'm sitting in a nice warm house. So what else do I need? What I need is more of Jesus. That's what I always say. Give me more of Jesus. I just want to love Jesus. I want to walk with Jesus. I want to glorify Jesus. I want to, I want to be like Jesus. And I know that in myself that's impossible. But I know that I can experience the power of the Holy Spirit who can transform me. Who can give me the fruit of the Spirit. That He can take away all those imperfections and perfect that work of grace in me. So that's my hope and prayer. So I hope you're having a good week. This is a Thursday on January the 20th. It's 12.22 and I'll close. Showed you what was in the box. I always, I always send you a little book thing here. See, called Reformation and Heritage rare and used books they sell. Pick up and read. That's what that Latin is. They always send you a little card. So, so I hope you're all doing well. You're all, you're in my prayers. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. And even though maybe we don't always agree politically, Let's all love our neighbors. Let us seek the civic good. Let us love God and love each other as we come to the end of this evil age. And as we see the, uh, see the signs of the last days. And to once again, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you. Pray your 
vaccinated, got your booster, you're practicing washing your hands and practicing good health measures. <laughs> you, even when you're just, even if we didn't have this COVID plague, it's flu season, get a flu shot, try to stay healthy so you can, as I said in my last video, we can glorify God, love our neighbor, be good stewards, good workmen, good husbands, wives, good students, just be good image bearers of the living God. Until next time, bye.